We had Kathy Wood on last night. She's a $2,000 price target on Tesla. Look, I believe... I mean, that's, that makes you look bearish by comparison. I believe we will, at one point, next three to four years, be talking about Tesla, not just at $1 trillion, at $2 trillion. And this is... I think this is just a moment they need to navigate. Mm. But that's why, the, for the board, it's time to act. It's time to set the foundation for the future. What has been the problem with Tesla stock, Dan? What's, what, what, in your mind, is it BYD threats? Is it interest rates? Is it C, something else? I think there's two big reasons. I mean, one, we talked about that call. It was obviously a debacle in terms of the conference call, not putting some line in the sand in terms of the price cuts are done. Investors need to understand that most of that price cuts are done, margins expand from here. I think one that's been a huge overhang. This recent interview from Dan Ives just gives us a little bit of insight into a possible 20% increase in Tesla stock in no distant time. And now, before you react to this, listen to the recent comments from the stock expert. It's something that you really need to hear for yourself. Wedbush out with a new note on the EV leader saying, quote, it is time for the board to change the Tesla narrative with three things that need to occur to make change happen. For more, it's the man behind the note, Wedbush Managing Director, Dan Ives. Dan, best dressed man on Wall Street as well. Great to be here. It's, okay, be here. three things. Number one, create a new comp package that supersedes this 2018 one, what do you want to see? Look, at 40 to $50 right now overhang on the stock because of this. The Delaware situation, I believe they need a, a comp package to supersede the 2018. Ultimately, Musk gets that package. This has been... You want to see him get paid. You want to see him get paid. This has already been approved by shareholders. Stop the nonsense. And I think there's something that the board needs to act now. So, I mean, the judge in Delaware, of course, they, everybody's saying, oh, it's politicized. Who knows? Whatever. But you think the board needs to come up with something new to compensate Elon Musk? To keep, by the way, keep him there, keep him happy, and keep that AI in-house because he kind of threatened to walk. Musk is the heart and lungs of Tesla. Tesla is Musk. Musk is Tesla. And I think that's something that's very, very important at this juncture. Clock struck midnight. Board needs to come out and act. This video shows a lot of optimism from Dan Ives, not just regarding Tesla, but also Elon Musk as well. Dan Ives seems to be standing up for Elon Musk, despite numerous knives and daggers of criticism that are currently pointed at the CEO. It's a fierce battle, and Musk seems to have a strong soldier on his side. Today, we're going to want you to pay attention to what we've got to say in this video, because it's critical for Tesla's growth moving forward. Right now, the fate of Tesla's stock and Tesla itself may depend on the decisions that are made for and by Tesla's leadership body. What has been the problem with Tesla stock, Dan? What's, what, what in your mind? Is it BYD threats? Is it interest rates? Is it C, something else? I, I think there's two big reasons. I mean, one, we talked about that call. It was obviously a debacle in terms of the conference call, not putting some line in the sand in terms of the price cuts are done. Investors need to understand that most of that price cuts are done, margins expand from here. I think, one, that's been a huge overhang. Two, you know, you talk about overall EV yeah. demand, which you talk about, do a great job on, on the show. Well, people of, think I... As, <laughs> no, but... but, but the, I, 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 honestly, people come at me, but I've been, right, I've been correct. I, I, it's, not, it's not because I'm smart. It's because I talk to dealers all over the country. Yeah, and, and That's it, it. Tesla does not have dealers, so I can't talk to them to figure out how it's going. I have to talk to you. And, and, for, like. and, and for the Brian Sullivan quote, do they want an EV or they just want a Tesla? No, I, I've said, I don't want to offend anybody. Teslas are for people that are more tech oriented that want to be moved around. EVs are for car people. Exactly. And, and, and to that, to your point, this is a pip. Look, this, it's a moment of truth. This is a moment of truth time for the Tesla story. Show demand is going to continue to be there, which we believe it is, including in China. Stop the price cuts. Let the board come out, show that Musk is there. And at that point, we believe that's worth $40 to $50 per share to the stock. Elon Musk's recent compensation issues have sent shockwaves through the electric car empire. A Delaware judge threw a wrench into the mix when it came to Musk's massive pay package, leaving everyone wondering what is next for Tesla. Now, we're not here to discuss too deeply what's actually been going on, but... There are a few things that we really should pay attention to. We're going to delve into the potential impacts of this issue and decision, both on Tesla's trajectory and on the big man himself. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. 
Some speculate the recent decision to Musk's pay package might send Tesla into a tailspin. And after all, Musk is the visionary leader of the automaker. However, we may also want to consider that behind the scenes, some of Tesla's success is actually relying on the minds of several brilliant people. Plus, the EV market is booming, and competition are actually starting to ramp up and get at Tesla's heels. Who knows, they may even see the opportunity to poach talent. But while this could be a wake-up call, let's also consider the huge role Musk is playing in Tesla. Although it may not seem like a big issue, this latest ruling may be putting Tesla at risk of losing one of its best CEOs that it could ever have. Before we carry on though, if you like this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. Elon Musk and Tesla, well, this is a combination that is pretty magic. In fact, we've got to say that Musk's impact on Tesla is undeniable. And it's not only Tesla. Musk is also breaking boundaries in several other fields and industries, particularly AI and spaceships. And to be honest, it's difficult to not ignore this kind of genius. This is two things, Emily, right? It is pretty big medical news. It is also a pretty big mystery. And oh, by the way, it's driven by one of the most controversial people in the United States, Elon Musk. W what's happening? Yeah, it's absolutely getting people talking, and it's the source of intrigue and also concern. So Elon Musk is calling this product telepathy. And take a look at here. This is some of the limited information, the limited details that we know. Telepathy really speaking to what it can do. It enables control of the phone or computer merely by thinking, by your mind, by thoughts, according to Elon Musk, who tweeted about it yesterday. He says the first users will be people who lost use of their limbs. The clinical study looking for people who are experiencing uh, paralysis, quadriplegia. And the initial results, as you said, Elon Musk sa says that they are promising. Now, a clinical study uh, is expected to take six years or so. And remember, this is just one of numerous rounds of safety inspections, these different, um, these different things that they have to pass before something like this can even reach commercialization. So it still will be a while. Hallie, I should also know we reached out to Neuralink and we have not heard back for comment. Musk is a visionary leader, and more than that, he's a flashy pacemaker. He truly is the heart of Tesla. Elon Musk is the driving force behind its success. And he's not just the CEO, but he's the face of the company too. The one captivating audiences with his audacious goals and futuristic visions. Remember the roadster in space? Yep, that was him. Most Tesla bulls even argue his ambition is contagious, attracting top talent and then pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Without him, Tesla would just be another car company, lost in a smog of mediocrity. And now we know what you're probably thinking. Tesla is a complex body with a beating heart of its own, and it just may be Musk's undeniable charisma, which is only a plus. Well, that's very correct. Experts have pointed out to the talented engineers, designers, and factory workers who bring Musk's vision to life that without their dedication and expertise, things like Cybertruck would just be a polygonal dream. Plus, the board of directors and other key players who contribute to strategic decisions. All of this is completely true, but let's also take a note of the fact that not every situation is black and white. While there is a bright team of minds, without Musk's leadership and strategic decisions, their talents might be scattered. But it also depends on who and what you think of Tesla as an investor or as a Tesla fan. The answer depends on where you stand. Whether you value the charismatic leader pushing boundaries or a well-oiled machine humming with diverse talent, it's entirely up to you. Maybe Tesla needs a bit of both, a strong leadership core working in synergy with a talented and empowered team. Who knows, maybe the future holds something pretty crazy for AI as a CEO, but that's a discussion for another day. So should Elon Musk get his compensation package? Well, there are a few debates to have here. Musk's supporters argue that he does deserve the pay. He's led Tesla to some pretty crazy highs. And he's revolutionized the EV industry too. And he's even planning to create a world for humans on Mars. So maybe rewarding something so audacious is actually key to retaining top talent. But there's the other hand too. On the other hand, critics argue the pay package is excessive, especially considering the wealth gap between Musk and Tesla's average employee. They say that without the billions, Musk is already one of the richest on Earth, so maybe focusing on company culture and employee well-being would be a better investment. 
Will you expect an appeals now? Do you think that the board will go back and just try to restructure some sort of payment for Elon? Wouldn't surprise me at all if we saw an appeal. Uh, under Delaware practice, there is a direct appeal to the Delaware Supreme Court, which is the final word on matters like this. So it's likely there'll be an appeal. And Max, from Elon Inc., your expertise of all things. I mean, he has been avidly against Delaware more broadly. He, clearly, there has been concerns about, from Elon himself, a lack of control of his own company now. What do you think happens after this paper? I mean, this is a huge development, not just because of the amount of money that is at stake in these options, the value of the options. I've seen, you know, figures as high as 50 billion reported. Of course, he hasn't exercised them yet. Um, but also because this kind of throws not just Tesla into chaos. They have to figure out a way to try to retain Elon Musk. He's already been sort of making these kind of veiled threats that he might be doing AI research outside of the company if he doesn't get a bigger pay package. Um, and and then at the same time, you have all his other companies, which of course depend on his financing. And we remember one of the uh, kind of uh, one of the reasons he wanted all this money supposedly was to pay for his, you know, Mars exploration. So you have to ask where every where all of this goes. Last thing I'll say is this is another big loss on Delaware. Remember, Delaware forced him to buy yeah. uh, Twitter for forty-four billion dollars. So now, even for the world's richest man, forty-four billion, fifty billion—that's starting to add up. <laughs> Uh, Greg, good morning. It's Ed in, in San Francisco. As far as I can tell, you and your clients are the only ones to actually ever take a look at the compensation package. So as a starting point, Greg, what was it in the first place that, that worried you or, or that you thought was unusual about the package that caused you and your clients to look? You know, I, I have to say that I have a hard time articulating $55 billion dollars I often misspeak and say $55 million. $55 billion is such a large pay package that it basically skewed dramatically upward the entire data set for the compensation consulting industry. Um, <laughs> I think we put out a press release yesterday referring to it as a gargantuan uh, package. Um, let me start by saying it was so large that we looked at it specifically because no one had ever tried to come this close. And oh, by the way, when you look at the nearest comparable, it's Elon's prior pay package. The recent debate surrounding Musk's role as Tesla CEO has been quite tough. But the truth is, nobody really knows for sure what the future holds. Will Tesla stumble without this billionaire superhero? Will a more balanced leadership team propel them even further? And will Musk ever get his hands on a mega paycheck? All these are not certain, but what we do know for sure is that Musk is one to stick around. And if he does decide to leave Tesla though at any point though, the car company will have a hard time surviving without its genius CEO. Even Dan Ives has emphasized a strong relationship between the two entities. According to him, Musk is Tesla and Tesla is Musk. Dan Ives also said that as Musk recently announced on X, if Tesla does eventually leave Delaware, then it would have no more headaches, and Musk will have the flexibility to pursue a new compensation package, a plan that would likely bring the CEO's voting control to 25%, just as he requested earlier this month. Ives further added that the level of control would incentivize Musk to pursue his AI initiatives at Tesla, since the CEO has already said that he would feel uncomfortable pursuing further AI and robotics work at Tesla. Also, and, and, and it's related to that, the company's headquarters is already in Texas, mm -hmm. but you think they need to, and Musk has said he may do this, legally move the state of incorporation from Delaware to Texas. I think it's not a question. They have to. I think not just from a Delaware perspective, you got to move to Texas at the shareholder meeting, put that up. I think the board needs to come out with a statement and then the must 25% in terms of getting much to the 25% voting. Obviously, a lot of controversy there, but, Brian, it is so important that AI, and we believe could be the, one of the biggest AI stories out there, AI stays under Tesla, which is, I think this is a, it's a pivotal point to make sure that Musk stays at Tesla through 2030, at least. And, and your three points are kind of in the two that we talked about, which is the new comp package, the comp package for the 25% share bogey, as you call it, and then moving that state of incorporation to Texas. There's a lot going on right now for Tesla, but we won't fail to acknowledge the incredible fundamentals of this company. First, in terms of innovation, Tesla's got the tech chops to make even the most sci-fi enthusiasts drool. 
the autopilot system, while still in development, is miles ahead of the competition. And let's not even forget about the supercharger network. It's tech like this that gives Tesla a massive edge when it comes to electric driving. Similarly, unlike other car makers, Tesla isn't just slapping batteries on wheels. They're getting their hands dirty, mining their own batteries and materials too, and even building their own gigafactories. The vertical integration gives the automaker great control over costs and quality, something crucial in the competitive EV market. It's like something similar to having your own farm-to-table restaurant, where you can ensure everything is fresh and under your control. And then Tesla's got another ace of its sleeve, data. That's right, the company collects a ton of data, constantly learning and improving their vehicles and software using this data, and it gives Tesla a powerful edge in understanding user behavior and developing even better products. So it's a season laced with mixed feelings right now. While we do need to constantly remember the incredible potential Tesla has, it's also important to take a note of the events that may pose a threat to Tesla's success in the future. At the moment though, no one can say for sure where this lands. But we can tell you for free that the saga is far from over and the EV revolution is about to get a whole lot more interesting. The truth is, it's a very complex issue. There's many perspectives to consider and the situation is evolving. But keep watching this space because we'll be following all of this drama as it unfolds. What do you think? Let us know down below. Don't forget to tell us what your valuation of Tesla is. And if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to over the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.